Okay, hello. So we're talking, I'm sitting in a 2015 FJ, and I'm just quickly going to go over the some of the features that were talked about on the weekend. There seemed to be a little bit of uh, uncertainty as to exactly what happens. This is my understanding of how things work, and I'll try to demonstrate it here as best I can. So you, you arrive at the desert, you're getting ready to go for a drive. Uh, right now I'm in uh, park, so I'm gonna, actually going to go to neutral, and I'm in two-wheel drive, so I'm going to go to four-wheel drive. And when I look on the dash, lo and behold, I have this little light down here which tells me I'm in four-wheel drive, but nothing else has changed. So, one of the things they tell us is to get rid of traction control or anything automatic. So this is what this button is, a little squiggly line on. So, if I press that once, I, uh, traction control is turned off. There's another feature there that I want turned off and I have to hold this button for a little bit. So I'm going to press it once to put reset. So I'm going to hold again. I'm going to hold it for about five seconds. So traction control, 1001, 1002, and then whatever. Five seconds later, skid control. Skid control is, is a car sliding out of control and it's going to try to bring that under control. So these are the two features on this car by pressing that button that we're going to get rid of. So these are automated features, computer features that I do not want when I'm in the desert, typically I don't want these interfering, so I've turned them off. The lights say off, both of them say off, so this, these two features are no longer working for me. I'm still in four-wheel drive, I'm in four-wheel drive high, <clears throat> I've hit this first button for traction control and gotten rid of traction control and stability control. Nothing else really changed, I'm still in four-wheel drive. Okay, so now, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to turn those back on, and so now all, I'm, all I am is in four-wheel high, and I'm going to select four-wheel low. So there I've gone to four-wheel low, and you will see that automatically, by going from four high to four low, that the traction control and the skid control turned off by themselves. I don't have to hit the button. Nothing else has changed. Okay, now I'm in four low. Now this vehicle has a rear differential lock. I can lock up the rear end, so I'm going to try that. Press it once, and I go to the dash, and you see a red light down here. That's telling me the rear differential lock. Now this case, it engaged right away, so it's mechanical. It's physically got to move. It doesn't always engage right away. Sometimes you have to move a little bit, forward or backwards, but here it is uh, engaged. Notice this button here, this one here. ABS off. That was not there a minute ago. When I select the rear differential lock, I'll turn it off. ABS came back on. I'm going to turn rear differential lock on. It engages. ABS is no longer there. It says I, the system saying I don't want ABS interfering with what I'm trying to do with those back wheels. So when I go rear differential lock, ABS turns off. So now I've got three things turned off. ABS, traction control, and skid control. Four wheel drive, low rear differential lock by the red light. So I'm gonna turn that off. Here we go. And the one last button is if for whatever reason you want traction control, this four wheel drive low has a special traction control system that I can engage by pressing this button. And when I come over here, still in four wheel drive, but you'll notice this A track light. Now, this is a specialized traction control only for four-wheel drive low. It will not work anywhere else. So in order to get it to work, I've got to hit a button and bring it in. So it's green light, it's good to go, it'll work. Now, because this system uses ABS, you must not have the rear differential lock engaged because when I, when I engage the rear differential lock, it's going to turn off the ABS system, and I want it. It's how a track works. So, if you find yourself in a spot where you need to use a track, make sure that your rear differential lock is not engaged. Okay, and I think that's about it. So, what happens if I go out of four low into four high? Look at that! All the lights went away automatically. 